All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Real Estate School, where we are going to break down this marketing machine called Batch Leads. How so easy, we close fast, and any time that works for you, your house don't need it, we'll throw cash, it hits so fast, don't know what to do. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Real Estate School, where we are going to break down this marketing machine called Batch Leads this marketing machine called batch leads we're going to demo this product and we're going to teach you all how to use it to run comps and pull data on any property in america we're also going to use this tool to send direct mail and to sms and even call sellers directly out of the of the of the system in the software they have a mobile app as well and the mobile app will help you with driving for dollars and it all integrates together I do all my skip tracing here, all my list stacking. It's essentially a marketing machine. It's my number one marketing machine to generate leads when it comes to pulling lists. All right. So let's jump on in. Guys, welcome again. This is a private training that's hosted in real estate school. If you are not familiar, real estate school is a brand new community. I'd love to have you. It's awesome, awesome, awesome place that's host host not only a community and a place to collaborate and joint venture and communicate we also have a classroom over here with free courses free contract generators and additional courses that you can earn um, the ability to take those courses in april we already have our calendar filling up with free trainings and, and events to learn and get started and collaborate and essentially learn everything that you want to learn about real estate investing we have a ton of members we're growing we're only a week old with almost 150 members and this is just a great place to connect. There's a leaderboard. It's actually really, really fun. Having a lot of fun with real estate school. It's a product I've been wanting to put together for, oh man, probably four years, but not having everything all in the same spot, it's been difficult. So now having everything all together, courses, collaboration, calendar with events, outside of Facebook. Love Facebook, but Facebook is just so noisy, right? I wanna make a place that is simple and that's what we've done. So I'm super, super, super excited to do this with you all. Um, the community, thought I was screen sharing that time, my bad. Here's the community, it's amazing. We have 143 members, we're a week old. And this is a place to collaborate and talk about wins and share deals. The classroom, as I mentioned, free courses, free generators, the calendar, it's awesome, it's filling up. Trainings and events and even a virtual RIA. And then here's the leaderboard. Again, I thought I was screen sharing here. My bad, <laughs> but we are filling up. We're having fun. This is awesome. Today's training is all about batch leads and the data, right? I just mentioned that, all the things that we use it for. I'm in batch leads three, four times a day on average. My team is in batch leads all day. You guys can go get a seven day free trial of batch leads. Use batchleads.io forward slash Dave. And by using that URL, not only will you get that free trial, but you get a thousand seller leads for free. So right here, you could go scrape a list of local vacants or local absentees in your neighborhood and start calling, texting, emailing, direct mailing these individuals. That's how I would get started. So today's demo is all about batch leads. I've been using batch leads for two and a half, three years at this point. And as you can see here, we've skip traced 168,000 records. Right here in the homepage, when you log in, it takes you to the dashboard. And these are all the leads that I have total. I have 108,000 active leads in here that I'm prospecting to. This is the number of lists that each of these leads are on. So if you click on this or hover over the six list, I have over a thousand leads that have six different motivational factors that I'm list stacking. So this helps me determine which of these properties that are on my list and in my leads, I really wanna double down and market heavy to. If there's multiple layers of motivation, it can be very, very useful. So this dashboard is just a great place to kind of figure out what's going on day to day and, and, and in the big picture. Property search is great because you can pull lists out of here. You can find basically any kind of data you want on a piece of property, right? One of the best things that I love is the quick filters at the bottom. So if I am wanting to just pull comps on a property, right? That's the first thing. I just want to learn a little bit more about a property. I'm going to type a property in. Click search, it's going to pop up over here on the right hand side. This is a property that I used to own. I just sold this one uh, maybe about six or eight months ago. And right here, you can see, let's make it a little smaller so we can get more of the screen in here. Or 
We can do this as well. Let me refresh so it resizes. There we go. Okay, so as you can see here, it's going to tell you the, the year built, the square footage, bed and bath, right? It's going to give you a ton of data. Let's make it bigger so we can see it. Here we go. It's going to tell you an estimated value of the property. I love that it tells you the mortgage amount. That is super, super helpful. Also, the amount of equity that's in the property. What's the estimated rent? All right. In the event you want to see the owner's name, you can click right here to skip trace it. It's going to cost you 10 cents. I don't need this guy's information. I already have it, so I'm not going to do it in this demo here. But you can see who bought the property from me. I can even go back to Salem alone and I can see, hey, I owned this property up until 314-2022. Who was the previous owners? What was the purchase price of the property? That's all in here. You can even get the tax information, what the annual property taxes are. If you want to see the last time it was on the MLS, any of that data, it's here. All of it, it's here. Foreclosure, the current owner's profile. Looks like he's got five, six properties. You can even see his, his portfolio equity. It's amazing. You can run comps inside of batch leads. This is one of the best tools. You can go and you can see what has sold. You can even look at actives and pinnings. I like to look at what's sold. So how I typically run comps is I start at a quarter mile. I go to six months. I'm going to ignore the year built, and I'm only going to look at the sold. So I'm going to click filter, and it's going to show me just the recent ones that have sold. So it looks like there's two, four, six, seven. Mine is right here up on top with the little, uh, the little yellow star. If I scroll down on this page, here are my comps. So you can make it a little bit smaller and kind of see more of them. And I'll move my little head up here. There we go. And you can essentially see what these properties have sold for. And I even have some thumbed up already that I like and some thumbed down that are too low or too high. So these outliers, oh, I want to add that one in. Notice that when I add properties in it, it changes the estimated value of what this property is worth. The estimated value up here that it's given me is 87,000. It's 85,000 with the comps that I've selected. If I were to remove this high comp and make it a low comp, for whatever reason, it's gonna change the estimated value. So this makes running comps and determining an ARV on a property super quick. Like essentially we can determine the ARV of a property in like two or three minutes, almost every single time, just by looking at the comps and looking at the data on the property that we have right here. So not only can you one-off property data, you can go in and you can look at an entire zip code like I just did here. I typed in a zip code. Is that a zip code or Eric? That's a zip code. That's right, zip code. And there's 7,200 records found within this zip code. Now, I mentioned these quick filters earlier. Let's say I just want to see the vacant properties in the zip code. I have these quick filter options down here at the bottom. And I can essentially select these 100 vacant properties right here in that zip code. And I can go and I can click select all and I can add these to a list. So let's call this the 63131 vacant list. And then I'm going to date it 33023. And we're going to use an existing tag of vacants. And we're going to exclude properties that do not have a USPS verified address. I don't really care. We'll leave them in. And then we're going to save it. So just like that, I pulled myself 100 vacant leads in my neighborhood. Now, if I want to search Outside of just a zip code, I can type in an actual county. So I can actually do St. Louis County, Missouri, and I can search by a county. And there's 428,000 within the county. So you can search by a zip code, a county, a city even, if you want to get really, really big, or even a state. However, what I really like about it is not only can you go out really big, so like let's do you know, Missouri, for example, how many property and parcels are there in Missouri? Just kind of curious, 2.5 million in the state. That's awesome. But let's say that I want to go and I want to do a municipality, somewhere that's even smaller than a zip code in some cases, or definitely much smaller than a county. You can type in your municipality and it will pull that too. So now there's 791 properties in Kirkwood and Kirkwood's basically right where I live. If I wanted to see all the free and clear properties in Kirkwood, I'd click here. If I want to see all the absentee owner properties, I'd click right here. Now it's going to highlight all these absentee owner properties. If I really want to get wild with my list polling, I can go in and I can select other information. So right now I have Kirkwood selected and I have absentee owner selected. 
But let's say that I also wanted to say, I don't want to market to on-market properties. And I only want to pull properties that have equity of at least half. So not only are they going to have half the equity, equity, they're off the market right here. And then additionally, I want to market to property owners that have owned the property for at least two years. So you can get into the fine tuning of your list polling. This is tip two tip, a couple of things that I typically add when I'm pulling my list. I want to see off market, at least one or two years of ownership, at least 30 to 50% equity. And then I've already pulled the, the, um, the municipality. So I went from 790 to 390. And if I add a couple more things, now I'm down to 145 leads. That would make for really good leads to market to. I don't necessarily have to filter it down like I did, but you have the option to. So let's go ahead and add that as well. So this is a, let's see here. We're going to select all. We're going to add. We're going to create a new list. This is going to be our Kirkwood, Missouri absentee with filters, right? So we've filtered out some stuff. I want to, I always want to date my list so I know I can find them later and I know when I pull them, if I need to go pull another one. All right, so we're going to make this uh, an absentee own tag, which is what those are. I don't really care to exclude because I can call, text, and email these individuals. And now I've just pulled two really good lists. I pulled a vacant list in my own zip code and I've pulled an absentee list in basically my municipality. Guys, you are not just limited to pulling these lists that they give you in the quick ones. You can go create and filter any type of list you want. Another really, really, really great tool that I love, let's go to St. Louis, Missouri and just type in the city. This is gonna give me 380,000 properties in the city limits. All this out here is the county limits. So that's why it's just showing the city here. Now check this out. Let's say that I really like a neighborhood down in South City. And let's say that neighborhood is Shrewsbury right here in the middle, right? Well, if I don't want to pull a city or a full county, whoop, my map went wild on me. If I don't want to pull a city or a whole county, what I can essentially also do is instead of using the location, come on, it's backing out on me. Here it goes. Instead of using the location tool, where's my... Shrewsbury, right in the middle here. What I can do is I can use this boundary tool. I can do a circle, a square, or a, 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 an actual shape that I choose. Now, let's say that I don't want to go above the highway. I can start building the neighborhood that I want, and I can actually draw on the map. And let's say I also want Lindenwood Park while I'm in here doing this, but I don't want to cross over Hampton for whatever reason. And I really just want to get the properties that are in the, you know, this little pocket right here. This is also the way that we find ourselves cash buyers, folks, just like this, okay? Right now, there's 6,400 properties in those two neighborhoods combined. If I wanted to use a quick filter and say, hey, I only want to market to the tired landlords in these two neighborhoods, I click right here. Now I have myself the tired landlords. These are absentee owned properties that have been owned for 12 or more years. Probably makes for a good list to market to, okay? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to select all. We're going to add this to a new list and we're going to call this Shrewsbury Tired Landlords. I know that that's, that that's absentee because that's the definition of tired landlords. So 33023. Let's clean this up a little bit. Shrewsbury Tired Landlords. There we go. And we know that this is tired landlord, so we're gonna tag it as such. Also, I don't care about the USPS in this case. So I've just added three lists that quick. And the great thing is, is you can go get a thousand leads just like I did over at the URL below this video or use code Dave when you sign up, get a thousand included with that free trial. So I didn't even use a thousand yet, but I've also basically pulled a vacant list, an absentee owner list, and a tired landlord list all right here in the area that I live. So again, keep in mind, you can pull leads individually. If you want to see, let's say, um, another property that I own. Let's go to, I'm trying to think, there's so many here. Where's my wall? Uh, let's do 12292. 
Jerry's. This is in Florissant. This is owned in one of my LLCs. But you can go and you can use the map. Uh-oh, didn't like that one. 12292, that's why. Search. Uh-oh, doesn't like that property. Let's do 8. 835 Bell Marine. I got a wall of all my properties. Bell Marine, am I saying that right? 63031, 835. AR, Bell Mine, 63031. There it is. Here's one that I own. I don't know why that last one wasn't pulling up. Oh, what the hell? That one's not working either. Sometimes you have to refresh it to get it to work. Let's try it again. 835 Bellamine Florissant. Here it is. Search. There it goes. All right, I don't know what that is. Sometimes you have to refresh. Boom, this is one I own in an LLC called Rainy Days LLC. I had to just pull the, the placard off the wall. And same thing. You can go and you can look at the data on the property. You can even drive the map and take a look at the neighborhood while you're kind of looking at the property characteristics. So I owe 108,000 to the mortgage. The property is worth 157. There's 48 grand worth of equity in just this one property that I randomly pulled off the wall of 60 over here. This is the power of real estate investing, creating crazy, crazy worth and values out of properties. I can run comps right here in the platform. So basically all I've showed you so far is just the property area. The beautiful thing about Batch Leads is it's got all this other amazing stuff. So the list, I just pulled three lists. Let's go find those lists. I want to see the ones that are 330, 23. Here we go. You got the vacant list, the tire landlord list, and then there's an absentee list that must still be loading. So this vacant list right here in, in, in um, 63131, I want to apply the filter. So here's all those leads, and you can see there's 100 of them. If I select over here and select all, I can then click on actions and I can send this list to a skip trace. So this is, let me double check the list here. This is our vacant list 63131 for today. So let's send this over to skip trace. I'm going to relabel this vacants 63131 33023. Assign, we don't want to assign to a list. We want to create a new one. We're gonna use our wallet balance and we're gonna skip trace. So what's happened is that has then pushed that list over here into the skip trace section. You can see, boom, there it is. And it's processing. With it being a hundred leads, it's probably gonna take about a minute, maybe even a little less to go about skip tracing the data. This process works super, super fast. Even for lists of five or 6,000 leads, you can often get them skip traced in two or three minutes. The individual skip tracing happens in about three seconds. If you're on a lead, particularly property profile, and you wanna pull up the seller's information. And what you're typically pulling up is phone numbers um, and email addresses. And it's really, really, really great. Okay, let's head on back and uh, give this a minute. Next, you have campaigns. And you can set up SMS campaigns, which are really, really great. You'll need to link Twilio, Twilio or Plivo which isn't very difficult, but you can link those to the system. And then when those are linked to the system, you can go in and you can see that it mail merges in a name, an address, and it essentially reaches out to them. And you can use different templates and it's just such a great tool. Also with the campaigns, you can have direct mail. And I'm actually just getting started to start using this for direct mail. Um, I sent a list out a couple of days ago on the 13th. I did a test to myself just yesterday and I'm about to start adding leads in that I'm gonna be scraping from the online database and start mailing them out of batch leads. I've been using tons of different mail houses, but if I can bring it all together in one place, it's gonna be so much easier and that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna skip driving routes, but I'm gonna hit on inbox. Inbox, assuming you are doing cold text messaging, is the easiest place to manage and monitor all your conversations. Let's say I wanna look at some of these hot leads. I can go down here and look at a hot lead and this is the conversation that we're having with the seller. And some days we'll do 100 conversations. Some days we'll send out 1,000 or 1,500 text messages to start conversations with property owners 
and see if they have interest in selling or listing their home. You can also click to dial and I need to customize my phone number, but you can call right out of the platform, which is amazing. And let's say you are chatting with a particular property owner, like I am right here. Like for, for example, Brenda here, right? Well, this is Brenda's house. It's gonna repopulate the map. If I change it to, to Carrie, it's gonna change it to Carrie's house. Let's go back to Brenda. So it's gonna have her conversation and her property. Well, if I wanna take notes, I can do so here or create a task, I can do it here. But if I click on the property address itself, it's gonna take me right here to this page where I can learn all about the property really, really quick and easy. If I wanna run comps on the property, I click the comparables tab and I dive right on into my comps and I narrow it down. If I wanna see tax information, it's here. If I wanna learn more about the owner's profile, that's there. When was it sold last and for how much, it's here. One of my favorite tools when it comes to using the uh, batch leads is basically not only being able to get the property owner's information and contact information and emails and all that type of good stuff, but it's also being able to see their mortgage balance. So I just clicked on a random one that we're texting with. It's a gentleman over in Baldwin. It's estimated property value is 401,000. But if you look up here, the total mortgage that, it, that they owe is 201,000. And it even does the calculation of what the equity is. So it's such a great tool because this is gonna tell me that you know, they're gonna have a lot of equity. Well, then this is something that I'm gonna to wanna to market to. And also if the property needs a lot of work, they're actually truly gonna be able to sell it and not have to bring money to the table and own a property that's underwater. If they have equity in the property, that's going to be a huge benefit because then they're gonna be able to take a whole lot less for the property. So the inbox is just awesome. Now I skipped driving routes, guys. Let's circle back to driving routes. Driving routes is essentially you're driving for dollars. Now, I would recommend you use the mobile app to do so. It's gonna be a little bit easier to kind of navigate. And when you're seeing a property in person that is distressed, Google may not have been down that street for a year or two or three in some cases. So the mobile app is great and it's gonna store all your drives over here on the right side. And you can see complete and incomplete and search. Or if you truly do want to virtually drive for dollars, that's an option too. And you can drop yourself right here on the map and you can literally virtually drive up and down a neighborhood or in some cases have a virtual assistant drive up and down a neighborhood in a particular county or part of town. And as they do this, they can actually start virtually driving for dollars right clicking this. And then what it'll actually do is it'll start tracking their route. So again, I suggest that if you're gonna drive for dollars that you do it in a car with the app and you're actually going up and down the street. This isn't a bad approach. You know, if you physically don't own a vehicle or you can't get out or you don't have access to one or whatnot, that's fine. But again, sometimes these, these Google cars might not have been up and down a street for, you know, let's say two, three, four years in some cases. Sometimes they'll, they'll be much more active. But as I'm driving for dollars, I can turn around and I can look, I can click on a particular property and see if I want to go in and make this, you know, something that I want to market to. I can click on the view details here. And all of a sudden, I can learn more about it. If I want to skip trace this individual, looks like they already have one number randomly. Let's say I wanted to get this particular person's contact information. Let's add them to a list. I like to use the random list for demos like this. We're going to skip trace it and see if we can't find any other data on this individual. Oh, let's see what it's what it does. Sometimes it'll pull back more info. Come on, batch, what you doing here? I'm gonna refresh. All right, not a big deal. If I wanted to go back and see what was going on, I can click on this one here. I think this is the lead. Again, I like to use the mobile app for the driving for dollars. You have to play with it, but I don't wanna waste time on that particular feature. You can also build yourself a team out of here and have different workspaces for team members. And you can essentially have your own workspace in here, which is awesome. So the lists are such a great feature, guys. You can go pull your own leads out of the property search and then you can filter your list. You can use this to, to count your list in the list stack and essentially store by your vacants for, for, for different reasons. Um, let's go back to the skip trace area 
and see if this was done. This is done now. It probably was finished within 30 or 40 seconds. I submitted 100 vacant records, 63131 vacants on 33023. 95 of them had records come back. That's a 95% hit rates out of 100. Well, guess what? 74 properties were already in my system right here. Let's make this a little bigger so you can see it. 74 properties were already in my system. So it saved me $7.40 because why would it charge me to skip trace leads that I already own? It shouldn't, and it doesn't. And that's one of the best features with batch leads is if you go pull a big list of 3,000 or 5,000 or 15,000, depending on what you define as big, and you go and skip trace it, and you've already been using this system to skip trace your leads, if it pulls back the same data, it doesn't charge you. If it pulls back a new owner and new contact information, then it does. So this list that I just wanted to skip trace cost me $2.10 to skip trace instead of $10 because it saved me some money and there's a few records that weren't able to skip trace. So from here, what I could do is I could actually send this over, make it a little smaller, get my other icon, to an SMS campaign or a direct mail campaign. But to give you all an example of what actually gets skip traced from here, I'm gonna download this report. And then instead of sharing my window, I'm gonna share the Excel file that it's going to give me. Here we go. All right, here is the Excel file that I just skip traced out of the system. I'll give you guys an example of what this looks like. So. Let's make it a little bigger so it's easier to see. Where is my, here it is. All right, so we have our input's first name. We have their last name. We have the property address, city, state, and zip. Next, we have mailing information. So if we wanted to mail, we'd wanna to mail to the mailing address, not the property address, because these are vacant and absentee owned properties. So if we're gonna to market to them, we're gonna to wanna to market to where they're actually getting their mail, all right? Next is all the phone numbers. So the first column of phone numbers it gave me is here. The next column of phone numbers it gave me is here. The next column of phone numbers it gave me is here. And it's gonna give me up to 10 options of phone numbers to reach these individuals. It's even gonna tell me if it's a mobile or a landline. So there's up to 10 different options for phone numbers. Here's some numbers. Oh, here they are. There, there. Oh, this one actually. And there's going to be up to 10 of these. All the way on the right side, you're going to see the email addresses that they're going to give you. So if they have email addresses, you're going to be able to see those email addresses and you can reach out to the individuals via email. So you have a couple different options. Oh, shoot. Am I not sharing my screen again? No, I am. I'm using two different softwares and it's throwing me off. Okay, so you can see all of these email addresses as well. So you have multiple ways to market to these, to these individuals here, right? All the sellers that are gonna be in these first, first and last name in their property address, these are the individuals that we're gonna to wanna to market to. These people have properties in my neighborhood that are vacant and absentee owned, and what else do we pull? Tired landlords. So Batch is the best product out there to be able to do all this stuff in one place. It's literally a prospecting machine. So let's highlight a couple more things before we wrap up our training today. Let's go back to batch. Here we go. And, you know, again, that was a $2 list. Let's go skip trace one more in here real quick. We're going to head on over to lists. We're going to click filter. Let's do 33023. We have this Shrewsbury tired landlords list. Let's go ahead and apply that to the filter here. And that's going to give us 136 property records. Let's do the same thing. Let's skip trace it. So we're going to call this Shrewsbury Tired Landlords 33023. I think I misdated my other list in there. No problem. Not going to worry about these. Um, and we're going to skip trace. So those are getting pushed over and they're working in the background here. And again, there's 136 if I get 100% hit rate and I have no matches, that's going to cost me $13.60 at $0.10 cents a piece. Now, the skip tracing costs are going to determine them on your package. It's $0.10, $0.12, or $0.14, cents depending on the tier that you're in. I'm in a higher tier because I use the hell out of this system. 
So it's 10 cents for me. So I'd imagine to skip trace these, if you exclude any of the matches, it's going to probably cost somewhere around, oh, I don't know, five, three to five dollars to get the leads. We'll see. Give it a minute and we'll come back. Um, inbox. We touched on this a minute ago, but this is literally one of my favorite places within Batch. You can manage all types of conversations. You see hot leads. You can see warm leads, people that aren't interested. You have an eternal do not call list. And when somebody in here responds to you like this, fuck, a, fuck off, leave us alone in that scenario right there, you can go in and you can add them to the do not call list right here. So you can build yourself out a do not call list right here inside of Batch. Click to dial is brand new. I love that. Push to CRM is a really, really great tool. Doesn't really matter what CRM you use. You can push this lead to a CRM, assuming you're working the lead. Also, you have these quick replies. How awesome is this? Whenever you text somebody, they're typically going to be asking you um, a couple questions. They're going to be asking you, how'd you get my number? Why are you calling me? Who is this? so on and so forth. Well, why not just answer all these questions in advance and use them over and over again to start the conversation with people. And then those that don't want to be bothered, you Marcus do not call or you know, not interested and move on. But the individuals that you do build some rapport with, you can just call them right here out of the platform or push them to your CRM, which pushes a bunch of property data and the conversation along with it. So then you can then go start managing it and working and nurturing and following up with the lead in a system that you're already using, your CRM. Let's head on back. All right, that Shrewsbury list, boom, it's done that quick. 133, so we had a 97 point, basically 8% chance of them being skip trace, which is great. 71 matches this time, but a big, little bit bigger list, save $7, not skip tracing a list that I already owned. So right here, I saved $14 just on these two lists, and I spent eight. So I actually save more money than I spent because I'm using a system that won't charge me to skip trace the same lead twice. How awesome is that? And then what we can do is we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll create a new campaign and we'll push these over to a campaign here. We'll start SMSing these individuals and then we'll also start mailing these individuals as well. So you have a lot of functionality out of batch. The most common thing people are gonna be using it for is to pull lists of properties and then start marketing to those lists, as well as driving for dollars. So you have a lot of options and a lot of things that we can use Batch Leads for. It works on computers, it works on tablets, and they have a mobile app for your cell phone. The mobile app will let you pull property records, run comps, skip trace, drive for dollars, almost everything you can do on the computer. Um, you can even manage SMS conversations and text sellers right out of the mobile app. It is an incredible, phenomenal software. I highly, 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 highly recommend using Batch Leads. Uh, PropStream is another tool that you can use. And I've used PropStream for about five years. Um, but I would recommend Batch over PropStream due to the fact that it has more functionality, more capability, better ways to integrate teams and CRMs, better skip tracing, and just overall, it just has more functionality. I use both, uh, but if I were to pick one or the other, I would 100% go with Batch. And in fact, the only reason I even use PropStream is because some of my students use it and it helps me to help them navigate it, right? But Batch is the one-stop shop. They have plans available to get started for under a hundred bucks. So again, I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. Guys, don't forget, head on over to batchleads.io forward slash Dave. This is gonna give you a thousand free records along with a free trial. And you can go check it out. There's plans under a hundred bucks to get started. And this essentially is the number one tool that I would suggest. If I was brand new in this business and I was gonna pick something, uh, before I even set up a CRM um, or anything, I would get batch because it's very difficult to make the perfect offer, which is what we did a training on yesterday. All right. It's very difficult to make the perfect offer if we don't know what the property is going to be worth and it's all fixed up. That's the first thing we need to be able to do as an investor is learn how to run comps and learn how to get data on properties so we can then make decisions and estimates on what the cost to fix that property up is to then make offers. 
All right, this business is all about having properties under contract and having ownership in properties or more likely or more, more commonly just having control if we're new and we're wholesaling. But we got to understand that. So being able to pull data on properties is incredibly important. Running comps, incredibly important. Being able to talk to sellers. If you can't reach them, how are you going to be able to make an offer to them or make a friend and then go run an appointment and try to buy the home in person? You're going to need to be able to connect with them. And what we do is we skip trace, call, text, email. Uh, we will send direct mail. And um, there's some other things that we can essentially do to target them online um, as well. So we're basically hitting people with full blitzes to try to buy their home. We want to be the people that they think of whenever they decide to sell. We can't force people to sell, but when they're ready to sell, we want them to think of us. And that's what this tool will do. It'll put you in front of a ton of people and allow you to start cultivating awesome, awesome, awesome relationships. All right, that was about 40 minutes. That's about what I had planned for. So that is a wrap. Guys, go get yourself a free trial. When we post this video in Real Estate School later this afternoon, we will put that free trial link below this video. I'm gonna open it up for uh, Q and A for just a few minutes before I hit the road. Uh, Pamela, I see that you're still here. Do you have any questions about Batch? I'd love to help. Yes. Um, can you forward um, your SMS numbers to a different number when the texts come back? Yeah. So all of them. So like, okay. So when they come back, they all come back to individual numbers, but you have one inbox. And at one time I had 85 numbers in batch and I had one inbox to manage. So if I'm, if they text back, it just comes into my inbox and I'll text them back and the system will route it through the number they're already using. Does that make sense? You only have one inbox. doesn't matter how many numbers you have. For that particular person, when you call or text them, it assigns them a number and it'll use that number over and over again, unless you delete that number, then it'll pick a new one. So you have one inbox. Now, when you're calling, you can select to use the number that they're already texting you with or a default number when you're, when you're calling out. When they call that number, all one number or 60 numbers or however many you have, you forward it to one to ring. And then you can set up a voicemail box or not. It's really up to you. That's your preference. Oh, so there's okay. a lot of different functionality and features a, around the phone system in there. Oh, it's wow. It's designed to be a phone system for like a permanent phone system for your business. Um, it, I guess it could be in theory, uh, but it's really designed for prospecting. And if your number gets marked as spam by you know people marking it spam for whatever reason, you want to be able to dump that number and get a new one. Especially if you're doing a lot of prospecting, several hundred calls a day, you know, several hundred or even thousand text messages a day, you're going to want to have a lot of numbers to spread all those out on. It's a great question. But Pamela, if you don't plan on sending hundreds and thousands of texts and you're maybe wanting to send 20 or 30, you know, you could even do that many a day on one. So you maybe want to get two or three just so you have a couple of them in there. Uh, but yeah, managing the phone numbers in there is really, really easy. And you can obviously call and text them from your cell phone to test them and see where they're routed to. Uh, but it's very, very simple. And they have an awesome support team. I didn't even mention that. Um, they have an awesome support team. If you open up a, a chat support, they will walk you through how to do mm -hmm. certain things and or schedule calls with you where they can help you set things up. And if you end up do getting a trial or signing up, send me a DM. And what I can do is I can screenshot some of the templates that we use in ours, and you can just copy and paste them right into yours. I just purchased. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah, send me a message in school and um, I'll have Dennis, my, my, my VA, my main assistant, send you over some screenshots of the quick replies, as well as some of the messages that we're sending. And you can just kind of copy and paste it right into your system. Mm, okay. Hopefully you use my link and you supported the community. Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. That helps keep this thing alive and allow for these yes. free students. Awesome. Well, check it out. Spend some time in there. Get the mobile app. Highly, highly, highly recommend Batch Leads. It's my number one tool to know what a, what a seller owes on the property and you know motivational factors and how long and running comps. 
skip tracing. I mean, you can drive for dollars with it. You can do so much in it. Just start playing with it. Start using it. Start being in the app. The more you use it, the more you're going to learn it, the more you're going to get comfortable with it, the more you're going to want to keep using it. And to me, it's a no brainer. I mean, I can pull comps nationwide. You give me any city in America, I can pull, tell you what's sold there. I can pull properties up nationwide. Um, it is an awesome, awesome, awesome tool. I love it. All right, guys. Oh, I do have a question. Yeah, Pamela, what you got? I saw where you, after you pulled your list, you named the list. And then I noticed that you kept the tag consistent. You have consistent tags. Like yeah, check this out. I got, I, got, I got two minutes. But um, if you go into like my list here, if you're watching the screen here, and I go into filter, here's all the tags that I use. And they're just very basic. Free probate, absentee owned, divorce, seniors, cash buyers, free and clear, unknown equity, vacants, you know, maybe somebody's name. You can add new tags. There's an unlimited number of tags that you can add. So you can add, you know, make, you can make certain tags go to certain lists or even certain leads. And then when it comes to lists, I mean, I've been pulling lists in here for almost three years. So we have like probably 200 of them, mm -hmm. but you can see, I mean, you're going to want to name all your lists, but it's always a good idea to, 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 to date them. I used to not date them and like this STL County divorce list here that I pulled. I don't know when I pulled that. Now I could probably find out by going in and looking at the data and like diving in. But it'd be really nice to just know. That's why I've, I've typically started dating them, you know, whenever I'm pulling them, because it helps me whenever I'm going back, if I want to remarket to this, you know, let's say I want to remarket to this pre-probate list, right? Well, I, I essentially pulled this one, 7, 12, 21. So we're approaching two years on that list. You know, it might be a good idea to skip trace that list or cross-reference that list to anybody that still owns the property and then start mailing them or calling them. Right. So there's so many different ways that we can use the system. But yes, make sure you date your list and then you can create tags. And whenever you're creating your list, it'll ask you if you want to use an existing tag or if you want to create a new one. And don't don't overthink it. Here's the thing. Don't worry about, you know, trying to make everything perfect. It doesn't matter. You know, just a couple tags is all you need. Vacants, mm -hmm. absentees, high equity, whatever. And mm -hmm. you can even give leads multiple tags at the same time but just start playing with it and you're going to learn it and it is amazing and guys and girls anybody watching the replay uh check out the free trial you 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 would be a fool not to because you can use it for free you also get the ability to go pull yourself a thousand seller or cash buyer leads and one of the best ways that i that i know of to sell my deals and to sell them fast is to go pull cash buyers within a quarter mile or a half a mile of the property that I just got under contract and then skip trace those and call and text all the individuals on that list and say, Hey, I see that you bought a property in this, in this vicinity recently for cash. You know, are you interested in buying more? I have a deal you may, you may want to look at. And usually we can get a deal sold in a half an hour doing that. Right. So there's just so much power here. All right. This recording will be up in REI school.com R E I S K O O L.com. And this is another free training about batch leads in real estate school. With that being said, I got to run. Pamela, thanks for attending. Signing off. See you guys. How so easy. We close fast and anytime that works for you. Your house don't need it. We'll throw cash. It hits so fast. Don't know what to do. One of the